The Loud have landed in EU and Aspas is already just shitting on the whole server. Straight away, you can see he's got a 90% win rate already over almost 20 games. This guy last time he was in EU, like for the other event, was it, okay, was it Iceland? It might have been Iceland, I don't remember, but he got to Radiant, like top 10 rank with like a 90% win rate and he's already doing it again, so... This time, I'm finally going to actually review him. He's already got a 2.24 KD. He's just... This guy is nuts. He's one of the best duelist players I've ever seen. So, yeah. We're just going to hop straight into the game. So, let's go. All right. So, we're playing Jet on Ascent here. Is he going to just go for the uh, no, 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 the no. Ghost Buy? Everyone loves the Ghost Buy. Even if it doesn't work half the time. But, right, you know. He's playing with Sassy as well, who's his teammate. And he's also insane. Allowed are actually just a power team, to be honest with you. So he's just chilling there, eh, man. Usually, most jets will jump on that box. Just clear it. It's a nice clear. He's gonna straight up dash out with the eyeball. He waits in the smoke for the eyeball to get the info. Gets a nice kill for himself. See, that was really good, because he played around his initiators there. Just takes a lovely duel on this guy, Heaven. Just shits on him. 3v2, they do have a Reyna, though. Reyna's pretty scary on pistol. So he's trying his best not to take a duel right here. He's got 13 HP. The best thing you can do is stall the bomb for as long as you can. Oh, gets the info there. See what I mean? He just drops straight off. He doesn't actually want the duel. He, he wants to just stall for as long as he can. I'm not sure if Killjoy has mollies. Just gets killed there. Killjoy had one molly on the bomb. That's a frenzy at this range. I think that fucked. Yeah. Um, so he picks up the double kill, but he still can't win around there. They're actually gonna, just gonna straight up force. Gonna go for the wall bang here. It she doesn't. Nice. See the guardian. Oh. Yeah, if you can afford a guardian, it's actually like it's not a bad force at all because the guardian's insane. Like, guardian light armor, like it's pretty good. A lot of the Brazilian teams as well. They're super. Super aggressive. And they just pick up the round just like that. And that's why forcing is so strong, especially nowadays compared to like when the game was newer. Because how many times have you seen like Chambers playing Sheriff only and then Jets also playing Sheriff only, you know? A lot of them are doing it, so you can just kind of hard punish them for it. No, no, I'm yeah, I'm actually, I'm excited to see <laughs> Aspas again. He was destroying the last time. <laughs> like, a 90% win rate. Just think how insane a 90% win rate is, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's not low. Almost 100% of the games he won. Like. 17 out of 19. He's just going to go straight execute here again. I think he traded his Guardian, by the way, to his teammate. Just so he could entry easier with the Spectre. You can see it works like the Spectre against against low buys. The Spectre is the king. He gets one D. A little bit of an overextend, but team picks up their end. You can see he's already got jet knives here, which it looks like he's just gonna go for the jet knives again. They kind of turn this around now, where this is somewhat of their bonus, but realistically, this is just a full buy. You know what I mean? Like he's got full oh, like, armor, jet knives, <laughs> this is a full buy in my, in my eyes. I think they got all the skins as well, don't they, on these accounts? I'm not sure exactly how they work. Almost thinks the Reyna. I'm actually, I'm not sure what his, um, sensitivity is. It doesn't look too high, but it doesn't look too low. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Waiting down here for a couple seconds. See, a lot of people in high elo will stay in the killjoy ult until like the last frame, or they'll sometimes don't even just stick in it. Pops the dash and doesn't get any value from it though. Has two knives, two updrafts. Will we see a kill? Yes, we will. This for another? That was an op too. Up to one HP, he has to just back off. Teammate saves him there by shooting that eyeball. Playing under the Reyna so he can't see him. Nice, bro. 
We stuck on. Oh no. This is a tough round to win. Can't win it. Damn, he picks up fucking so much value there. Drops the 1 HP and kills more. I don't know how his team. That was actually. Uh, he could have played it slightly better, but still, that was quite unlucky, to be honest. Watch the smoke on the wall. Yeah, he clears the corner as he dashes out, but he just gets spammed. That's just gonna happen sometimes as Jet, you know? Sometimes he just dash out, they just spam you. Oh, it's the way life goes. So his team's just kind of freezing outside main here. Yeah, I'm disappointed. Oh. Disappointed Liquid didn't make it. My big, uh, big Liquid supporter. But Fnatic made it for EU, so Team Boaster there is going to be pretty fun. Boaster's, Boaster's a good guy, man. He's just challenging mid here again. Mid on Ascent is the key. If you don't have mid, think about it. You're rushing into... They actually don't have the best comp to stop a rush. So they're just gonna rush it down here, but usually they've got like a chamber, a killjoy, fucking sages, Astra sometimes if they're feeling real frisky. And we got the judge. Nice, just plays a patient, gets the headshots. Hey bro, like, just chill, what the fuck? The perfect crosshair placement, like he never moved his crosshair at all. Like look at how precise this crosshair placement was. Perfectly holds the smoke for the peak. Picks this up. Perfectly holds spawn. And then just perfectly holds market like what? I know. That was just really, really just smooth. My camera's too big. I just realized. Oh good. Oh I always do that man. I always forget. At least he doesn't have a face cap, so I was a block at him, but still. <laughs> See again, they just wait the kill drill. And the kill drill's like this, though, you really just gotta. gotta headshot him, I guess, but. One detained. He pushes. Ooh. He's just taking duels, man. Kinda whiffs a bit on the omen. He's just not afraid, though. I was thinking about these Brazilian players, man. They're just not afraid. Like, if they can take a duel, they're gonna take a duel every day of the week. It really puts fear in the enemy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, man. I hope. I'm hoping I don't have to fight ass pass in my rank games. Or maybe I'll, I'll shit on and make a, make a video out of that instead. Maybe. So I am the best jet slash raise in the world, as we all know. Can Killjoy win though? What's this guy's name? That's troll. His, his team this game are not very good, to be honest with you. Like, they're they're not very good. He's got a 2 and 6 Reyna, his Killjoy's kind of trolling. He's just gonna go for the op now. When in doubt, if you're playing Jet and your team are just dog shit, a lot of times I just like to... Mm, as I'm saying it, man. The caster curse is real. He's boarded on. 3-5. Yeah, I don't know. Usually if I have like a team where I can't entry to them properly, they won't follow me or... Even if I'm entering, they won't win post plan. I'll just op and just say, especially if I have another, if I have another duelist, I'll just op and just take mid control because like you can usually save your life a lot more. Then if they're not winning post plans, there's no point in you just dying for them to get on site when it doesn't make a difference on the outcome. That's well, not always the play. You kind of gotta find the in between.
I'm gonna go with knives here again and just run up there and be main. This guy is filthy with knives, so. There goes two of them. Just gets the headshot, doesn't matter. Stashes right out. It's good, he, he backed off there. He's trying to crab out. Yep. He's trying to get a timing on the Reina there. He was able to do it perfectly. See, people think... People think timing is, like, just luck and shit, and I completely disagree. Like, it can just be pure luck sometimes. But, like, timing is definitely a skill that you can improve. Like, good timing is usually just really good game sense. Like, he... He took, like, the space on the stairs and seeing the Reyna wasn't there, so he thought, oh, I can push up and get behind her. I think, like, if I do this at the right time, well, she's not looking. Yeah, timing's definitely a skill you can work on. Doesn't even pop the dash and goes for the duel and shits on this guy with the perfect... Reyna strips. Those mechanics are insane, actually. One side. Another one. It makes it look so easy as well. He just gets all these headshots just constantly. There's a machine. Yeah, I've never I've never watched him before, but he's actually nuts. Like the his mechanics are so good. And his game sense is really good. You can see how he's He's not peeking B main here. He's not even holding it because he's so low. He wants to get another timing. You know what I mean? When you're low HP like this, bait it, like doing this kind of baiting is so strong. Like you see, he picks up a kill when he really shouldn't on one HP. Like he knows if he's just holding that, he can just get one shot to the body and just die. You know? So he makes them clear B main. They don't see shit, and then he comes out and shoots him in the back. 18 kills now in 10 rounds. I don't know. He's picking up like 3 around, bro. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Okay. They got no money. Get out of my way. Should always do that. Every time at the start of every round, check their money. Always check the enemy's money. And then you can come up with a plan of what you want to do. Whether that's play long range because they have low money, or you wanna... He doesn't play long range and gets it's punished by the spectre. Or whether they can afford an op and you can just like, jump peek. Got it in the end, all good. They should win this round. Yeah, they do. I'll just hit the B main again. I actually like uh, how many times they're hitting B here, cause nice. Oh my god, bro, he just owns B main. Like he just, I don't know. The way he takes these duels, you see, like another one. Up to knives, goes hard. Yeah, but you can see, like he's, I, they're double peeking him, and he still was able to isolate each of those players instead of just double peeking them. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't allow the, the Reyna to trade him, just off his positioning alone. It's all the simple things just adding up, it's just all the fundamentals, you know? I, I cannot remember what I was saying, but... We're back. He's just gonna take the duel down, mate. He's not buying the Sheriff. A lot of Jets like the Sheriff. Like, I, I would buy the Sheriff here, but he's going for the Ghost. I don't know, I, see, I just see the Sheriff as way more, way more value. Because you can just insta-kill people with the, the Sheriff, but maybe he's just values the smoke. Not sure. This box is really disgusting as Jet as well. And Reyna, because you can just get out, like, Chamber, I guess, as well. Siege pops the dash, has to get out. No point in taking a 2v1. Not worth. 
That is a good thing about the ghost, though. You can just kind of spam for free. It's got a lot of bullets in the mag. It's got the silencer, you know. Looks like the enemy are just going to fake it. Yeah, you can see his vipers pushing and there's no one there. Gotta be careful of the chamber. Unless he TP'd all the way out, he could be in mid here. And there he is. You gotta be wary of that. You gotta be thinking, you know? That, like, you heard where the chamber TP'd and now you don't see him. Your Viper doesn't see him, so there's no way he could already be B site, you know? Gotta clear those angles. Nice. And him thinking about that chamber just like wins him the pistol pretty much. Like imagine imagine he doesn't clear that chamber, the chamber kills him, then the chamber kills the viper, and then bang. It's like a 5v fucking tree or something. Or 4v tree, I can't remember what their numbers were like. But not very good. And they still have to clear the guy in mid, so it's kinda hard. Marshall as well. Marshall honestly is so broken. Like, Marshall is so broken. I think everyone kind of knows at this point. Especially on second round, like, it's actually busted. Like, there's no better weapon, really. It's shit on people with no armor, but... I'd prefer Marshall against a full boy than I would uh, a Spectre, to be honest. With the 100 damage, even for a body shot, it's just nuts. Uh, I'm not really getting much here. Jet peeks him, just gets shit on. Why no scopes don't work like this, man? His, his shots with the marshal. I remember seeing a clip of him from, um, what's it called? One of the lands as well, and oh my god, his marshal is so satisfying. It's so precise. Like, it's actually so precise. We know he gets a kill now. Spoilers. They are four stacking B here, by the way. Perfect crosshair placement. <laughs> Just gets the pre-fire headshot. And then he ints it. I'm probably hired for BMA in there and he just. God, his crosshair placement's actually like on par with Ye's. Like Ye's crosshair placement, I've always thought was just out of this world, but. Like he's, his crosshair's always in the right place, you know? But his flicks are also just different. Like this, I don't know. This guy has Valorant down to a T, like. <laughs> this round was kind of trolled to be honest they easily like they were up 5v3 here and they just ran it down that's what i mean you never get too horny for the kills but everyone does even the best players in the world just you can hard feed sometimes. It's Viper. It's a Viper. This poor guy. Being broadcasted and he's just just whiffing. Bit weird playing Viper on this map anyway. It's zero value out of the dash here. A lot of util coming out. Luckily his team pick up two here because I don't think if he had no team here, he was fucked. He gets the headshot in the end. So much util coming out. These fade eyes, man. Fade is formerly underrated to be honest with you. Like she is so underrated. She just fell off. I feel like no one plays her anymore. She like came out and she was banging every game. Just every game. And now she's gone. 
Ah, tava travando todo ali na entrada dos caras. Jesus. I think she was a decent release though. Like she's kind of annoying. Pode colocar 1080 play against. But not as bad as like I mean no one's as bad as Chamber, but not as bad as Astra either. Like she's not super broken, but she's like pretty strong. The suck ability is really ooh. Damn, that's what I mean. He's got the flicks as well. He's got everything. This guy might might be the like most mechanically gifted player I've ever seen. Like the only players I think could come close is like screaming, yeah. Maybe uh, tens is tens is still pretty good. Tens will all, like always be forever goaded for some of the clips he's hit. Like some of them are just disgusting back in the day. But I don't know, man. I want to see if this viper I can actually win around to He's second top frag, actually. Every time he's been, um, like, we've seen him, he's just whipped. It's getting boring, man. Of course, oh, now we know he wins, so who cares? It's annoying. He's gonna pre-aim the, the jump peek here. When you can flick like that, it doesn't really matter where you're pre-aiming. Will he peek it? Oh, he accident. Bro. What do you mean? I missed the shot. Is the best time to win? <laughs> what? What? Poor me, cara. I don't know, man. Like, so he, he's peeking top mid, hits the flick out of nowhere, pops the dash, hard goes for this, destroys him, and then gets a no scope on this guy. Like a double headshot class. Oh. Like he completely fucked up, and then hard saved the play. Like he popped off twice, then fucked off, or no fuck. Fucked up and then just popped off again. Up knives. Doesn't greet it. I like that. This is where Jack can feel so strong. Is with knives and an op. Especially if you can actually hit your shots, then it's it's pretty good. I guess that he's he's all out from last round. He used it all. He used all the superpowers. Caralho, é muita confiança o reflex. Só anda para frente. That's the nice free kill on the Omen. See if you can finally get redemption on this Reyna. Or just not as fast he's got it with the, Ob or the Odin. What the fuck? Top in 35 this game, bro. In a 13 6 lobby. Like, it's not even like it was a long ass game. He's dropping 35 kills. Fucking hell. He's actually, he's one of the best players I've ever seen. That's my first game watching him too, so I'm pretty happy with that one. So yeah, thanks for watching, like, sub, all that, and uh, yeah, we'll see you later.